Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be an interesting look. So I've set aside a full day to try and achieve this look. I'm going to be trying to attempt this amazing, amazing, like Finding Nemo eye makeup look created by the Instagrammer at Met's Beauty Cosmetics. At Met's Beauty Cosmetics. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, I have the photo up here. It is actually so incredible. I thought it would be such a fun challenge for me to <laughs> try. I don't know how it's going to go. I don't even have all the colours or the products and things. So I'm just going to like play around with what I have and we'll see how we go. Oh. Hopefully it turns out okay, but I thought it would be a lot of fun to try out. Since like I said, I'm home for the whole day. I'm home every day now, so I might as well try something harder. I've been like slowly progressing in looks trying to make them a bit more difficult each time and now it's like uh but yeah i will do a voice over for this look to try and keep it like this video at a appropriate length that so doesn't go on forever and also because i'll probably be swearing my head off <laughs> during moments of this out of frustration <laughs> otherwise guys if you are interested in how i got this look hopefully it turns out good we'll see if you are interested in how I achieve it, then let's get into the video. Oh, I'm so nervous. Okay, guys. So, to begin off this eye look, I'm going to first of all measure up the angle on which I want the wings to go. So, adding tape, I'm going to place this next to the corner of my eye. I'm actually angling it on a more straight out angle that makes sense so instead of going up right towards the tail of the brow i'm going more towards the hairline and actually during this video i do go back and kind of fix up the angles because i need the wing the nemo wings to fit underneath that cut crease so just take your time with this step really get the angles right so that the rest of the look kind of pans out nicely to prime my eyelids i'm first of all taking my nyx jumbo pencil in milk it's a beautiful white cream eye base and i'm going to apply this all over the lid and up towards the brow making sure to blend it all the way towards the tape area as well so that whole eyelid is covered so that it's a nice blank white canvas for the colors to go onto, and it'll really stand out and make them really pigmented next for the scary bit is the eyeshadow <laughs> i was so nervous doing this look so I'm first of all taking a petite crease brush and I'm just placing this light blue eyeshadow from the Chi Chi Pride palette along my crease area. And as you can see, I'm winging it out towards the tail of my brow. So I'm covering that whole area all through the crease and so it's nice and opaque. Then I'm going to cut my crease a little bit. So I'm taking this MAC paint pot in the shade Soft Ochre and I'm carving out my crease with that all the way towards that kind of outer corner area and also making sure to flick out the outer corner area too i kind of mimicked like it might reminded me of like an ocean wave or something like that but basically yeah just mapping out this kind of shape you guys can use the white cream eye base if you want i think that would make it a little bit more pigmented for the white eyeshadow that we go in with afterwards i'm first of all going to carve out that line a little bit more with some of this darker blue it's called poolside from makeup geek and I'm basically just carving out the very edge of that cut crease to kind of clean it up a little bit and also make a more defined line there. So there's a bit more definition in the crease and it's not just that blank one like blue eyeshadow. Next I'm taking White Lies from Makeup Geek on a precise shader brush from Zueva. And I'm going along the very edge of that cut crease to really carve it out a little bit more. Then I go and I place that white eyeshadow all over the lid. Just so that you have a nice clear definition from the blue to the white and that there is no kind of blend, it's just white blue. There is no like fade in there. I want them both to be quite harsh, those two lines. Next I'm taking um, my eye concealer brush and some of that jumbo pencil in the shade Milk and I'm carving out my wing. So basically just mapping it out with that white cream eye base. You can of course go straight in with like a orange eyeliner or gel liner or anything like that. I don't have that unfortunately so I decided to use a white eye base and then go in with an orange eyeshadow over top. This is Flame Point from Sugar Pill and on that same precise shader brush I'm just packing on that eyeshadow all over. And right up against the tape I keep it nice and thin and then kind of bring it back across. I did want to make this eyeliner quite thick 
so that you can see qu- like quite clearly that it is Nemo. I didn't want it to be quite thin. I wanted it to cover up a fair bit of the eyelid. It's up to you how thick you want to make this. I just decided to go quite thick with this. Once you've got your shape down pat, we're going to go in with this white body paint. I'm using this on the eyes. I don't know if it is eye safe, so keep that in mind, guys. But I've used it on my eyes many, many times and I've been all right. But it is up to your discretion. And I'm basically just mapping out the shape of those stripes that Nemo has. So I'm going in with that same eye concealer brush and just mapping out those three white stripes. Then I'm going in with the body paint on a more defined brush. This is an angled brow brush. And I'm just going back on and making sure those white lines are really, really pigmented. Next, I'm going to take my Hailey Baldwin for Model Co. Black Eyeliner and I'm basically just kind of gently drawing a kind of mapped out line of where I want the eyeliner to go across the top of that Nemo eyeliner that we've created. Then I'm going to take my Maybelline Hyper Sharp Liquid Liner to make that line more defined. I needed something to map out the line initially and this Hailey Baldwin one is quite nice to get a nice kind of idea of what I want the shape to look like but to get a nice really black defined line I want to use this hyper sharp one because the tip is so like fine you can really do nice detail work with it it's my favorite eyeliner ever the wand is just so perfect to get a nice defined line and it just makes the job a lot easier because it is more precise Next, I'm going to take this untamed eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. It's like a foiled eyeshadow. It's a bit golden-y. I really like that to create a bit of definition on Nemo's kind of tail or the whole liner, really. So I just put that in between each orange spot to give a bit more of like a scaly effect to Nemo. Then I'm going to take WA from my Focalore Travel Palette and I just basically really defined up that cut crease. For Dory, I'm taking jellies from Colourpop. It's a blue liquid lipstick. I didn't have a blue eyeliner, so I had to make do with what I had in my makeup collection. Of course, you guys can do the same. You don't need eyeliners and things. You can just get creative and see what you have. So I'm using a angled brow brush to kind of draw on Dory. It was a little bit difficult because the brush is not really made for this kind of detail work, but it's the best thing that I could use with what I have. And I'm just drawing out the mouth of Dory initially and then kind of drawing a little teardrop kind of shape to mimic Dory's body. I was just kind of following the picture that I showed you guys at the beginning to get kind of an idea of the shape of Dory. Then I'm going in with this stunning, stunning shimmery blue eyeshadow from the same travel palette from Vocalore. And I'm just basically setting that blue liquid lipstick in place. And also created a bit more definition to Dory's body because it did have the deepness of the liquid lipstick in some spots and then the lightness of the shimmery eyeshadow in others, if that makes sense. To highlight my brow bone, I do recommend doing this before you draw on Dory, but I forgot. I'm going in with WA and just applying that all over the high points of the brow. Next for Dory's eyes, I'm taking that same white paint and I'm basically just drawing two little eyes on Dory's body. And I'm also going in and drawing on Dory's tail. I just draw a little kind of triangle shape on the end of Dory. And I also draw in her little kind of um, fin as well. That's the word. (laughs) Then I go over top and set the tail and also the little fin that I end up drawing on in a second, you'll see, with some of that yellow eyeshadow. I didn't actually have a yellow like liquid liner or gel liner or anything liquidy so I had to kind of make do with a white paint and then going over top with a yellow eyeshadow like I said you guys just use what you have at home I'm basically just improvising a lot with this look next for the details of Dory I'm going in and drawing two little black dots on the eyeballs of her eyes I'm also defining up her smile a little bit more and also that kind of black line across her body that goes along her fins. I'm also kind of drawing in that detail as well. Take your time with these kind of step guys. It is a very intricate job. I also defined up Dory's tail a little bit as well. As you can see, one Dory looked really good and the other one was a little bit haphazard, (laughs) but I was actually so proud with how Dory turned out. For the coral reef that I created across the cut crease, I'm going in with a few different liquid lipsticks to get different kind of tones and different colors in there 
as you can see I'm actually mixing it all in the back of my hand it ends up being a very messy job but it was so much fun it reminded me of my visual arts classes back in high school I used to do that a lot with the painting artworks anyway so I'm going in with different colored liquid lipsticks and basically just drawing on that coral reef I also went in with some of that white paint and drew on little bubbles in the water and also put a little bit more details on the coral reef as you can see little stripes and things and went in with some yellow eyeshadow to color that in for the bubbles I actually wanted to get a little bit more creative and actually put some little glitter uh, what do you call them diamante things onto the really big bubbles I found they look so pretty I actually loved that I did this it looked so so good I'll link down below where I got the glitter from I think it was Etsy and basically I'm just putting them on the really big ones to give a bit more of a reflective oceany look to this kind of coral reef and I also go in with some of this mermaid glitter as well to get a bit more like kind of oceany effect and I just love glitter as well so I really liked how it turned out and I just kind of haphazardly just put it across that brow bone area next is my favorite bit which is peeling off the tape oh my god that crisp line just gives me life guys it's so satisfying especially after all the work we've done to just get a nice crisp line and for lashes today I went in with feisty lashes from Anitude I found them perfect with this eye look because they don't cover up too much of the eyeshadow work but they're enough to give a bit of drama and a bit of something something to the eyes for my waterline I'm placing this espresso eye coal from Makeup Geek it's just a brown eye coal in the waterline and to further define up that lower lash line I'm going in with this brown eyeshadow from my Vocalore travel palette and just basically wiggling that really closely to my bottom lash line starting from outer corner and just tapering it in towards the inner corner then taking flame point from sugar pill I'm going in with a pencil brush and blending out that brown so it's nice and smoky and also bringing in some more of those orange tones into the look just to tie in a bit more of Nemo in there then taking these two lighter orange shades I'm going to further blend out that darker orange just so it's a beautiful really smoky lower lash line like mm, girl yes for my inner corner highlight I'm taking this champagne goldy shade from my highlighter palette from folklore and just highlighting my inner corners but I wanted it to be a little bit more golden so I took this shade from the Chi Chi pride palette and placed that over top as well so it had a bit more of that champagne but also golden tone to it next is to place on some mascara on your bottom lashes I made mine quite opaque and pigmented so they stood out against that orange eyeshadow and this guys completes today's Finding Nemo or Finding Dory inspired makeup look I had the best best time doing this of course I did have my frustrating moments as we all do in something that does challenge us Oh, that does challenge us but I did have a lot of fun with this and I'm so proud of how it turned out if you guys do recreate this look please tag me in it I would love to see your recreations if you guys like this look please give a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below hitting that little bell button so you can be notified with all my latest videos and tutorials like this one I do have a fair few different looks in mind that I do want to start creating that are quite out there like this look but of course if you do have any you know requests for makeup looks that you would like me to create for you please don't hesitate to leave them down below in the comment section otherwise guys I'll see you in my next video bye